<laughs> hey, welcome back everyone. It is uh, 9.23 on your Sunday morning and uh, that means it's time to talk to Jared and we're uh, going to be doing some traveling and yes. you know, we love you Jared mm -hmm, and there's mm -hmm. many different versions of you today. We have the rugged <laughs> yes. outdoorsy this, this version. Very, I dressed but, the part this but morning. But you also yeah. just got a haircut though. I did. I got a haircut and I ran out of time to <laughs> run Well, you look nice my friend. <laughs> and change. So apologies for that. There's probably stray hairs all over the desk here. All right. I want to move quickly because I'm going to run out of time today. I already know it. Talk about a couple things. First, I want to talk about one of my absolute favorite places in Arizona, Antelope Canyon. Have you guys been up there ever? I feel like, I Whitney, have, you yeah. were there at um, Horseshoe Bend Bay. recently, recently, right? Yes. Yeah. Uh, field trip Friday there yes. too last year. Isn't it just like it's unbelievable? There's really no yeah. place like it. And I'm talking about it this morning here, December. It's colder up there. I mean, you're going to be in the 40s, but I'm talking about it because the tour guides there tell me these three weeks you'll have the smallest crowds of the entire year. It's become so popular internationally when you go on one of these tours, which you have to take a tour to go there, um, you will have more than half the crowd with you from Europe or Asia. This is known internationally now. Everybody's coming to Arizona for Antelope Canyon. So I want to talk about the two main parts of Antelope. Antelope Canyon you can visit because they're pretty different. The first is Lower Antelope Canyon. This is what it looks like from above. Everything is down inside that crevice there and because it's down there you're gonna have to walk down a ladder or a staircase to get into it. So keep that in mind if you're bringing a senior with you uh, or somebody with some mobility issues. Lower Antelope Canyon is a bit more of a physical challenge. Once you're inside it will be a bit more crowded but you'll also have these famous bright orange walls because much more sun shines into Lower Antelope Canyon. Okay so that's one of the different so lower antelope, it's V-shaped, so a lot of sun comes in from the top, narrow down below, it's even single file at some point down below in lower antelope. It is a bit less expensive, you'll have more people because they allow more people in on a daily basis, and again those ladders and steps, one more look at one of the other ladders you'll climb through, you see how it's single file at one point. It's an adventure no matter um, which one you choose. So look at this, see how orangey the walls are at lower? Look at that, and then look at upper antelope. Less light comes in from the top. It creates more of like a moody environment in there. It's much darker, but it's still so pretty. As you can see, the erosion, which has taken place on the walls there over the couple last several million years. Another shot of Upper, Lo upper Antelope Canyon here. Upper Antelope is also different. You start in the city of Page with one of these uh, open air rides out there in the back of a truck or in a Jeep. They'll drive you the 20 minutes out on the highway in one of these. So this one starts right in Page um, to get to Upper Antelope Canyon and they'll park out in this lot and you walk into that crevice there in the rocks. So you're not walking down. There's no ladder on Upper Antelope. You walk into it. Okay, so it's much easier for folks who are maybe seniors or uh, people with disabilities. I saw a number of people with canes on our last trip there walking into Upper Antelope. So this one is A-shaped, so less light comes in from the top, it's, it, the rocks are close together at the top. It's a more expensive, a little bit, fewer people allowed into Upper Antelope, so the crowds will be smaller and no ladders involved, okay? The other ones, Upper, Lower, you have Antelope Canyon X is an option, Secret Antelope Canyon is another option, but you do need a guide no matter which part of Antelope Canyon you visit, okay? And you do need a guide and you can book that right now because Next uh, three or four weeks, these are the smallest crowds they see all year. Okay, that's an Arizona adventure. I'm running out of time. I want to talk about Europe really quickly. Europe right now from Phoenix, under $600. Are you kidding me? January, February, and March of this coming year, if you book right now, usually Tuesday to Tuesday, Wednesday to Wednesday, under $600. So what cities am I talking about? Phoenix to Lisbon, 555. Munich, 595 on American Airlines right now. Uh, Paris just jumped up a little bit, but it's still below $600 on United. Uh, Rome, under $600 on Delta. If you search, uh, these are March 1st through 8th. That's a Wednesday to Wednesday, first week of March, but you can find these prices January, February, and March of next year. I want to show you, this is a basic economy, so this is as low as it goes. You're going to have to pay extra for luggage. Now, if you're going on a special trip or want a really fancy seat, this rarely happens. The airlines all have these bigger uh, seats, premium select or premium economy, they call them on different airlines. Uh, 1200 to Lisbon, 1200 to Munich, 1500 to Paris, 1400 to Rome on the different airlines. These are fancy, fancy seats. These are normally much more expensive than this. So either way, this is a great deal, under 600 bucks to Europe. Premium seats under $1,500 to Europe. Um, I'm posting a couple of these deals if you want more information on my social media today. All that information on Antelope Canyon, you guys, I'm going to put on azfamily.com because I know it's a lot to think about yeah. as you kind of plan which one's best for you. And I forgot which one we went to, but I know we picked the one that was the cheapest. But it was beautiful. Okay. The one They're that's both the cheapest. Great, I think it was $50. Guides, yeah, and the guides are great at both of them, too. Cool. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Thank you. All right. We'll be back with more GMAS.